Welcome to Enshrouded. Today we'll be introducing you to a mini series of videos exploring the key pillars of the game, including combat, building, and survival. Let's start with the basic combat mechanics in today's video. Enshrouded allows the players to log on to enemies in order to focus their attacks and movement on specific opponents. As the enemy attacks, you can block their action with or without a shield. Blocking an attack costs stamina and once depleted, attacks cannot be blocked anymore. With the right timing, you can also parry enemy attacks. A successful parry will block incoming attacks but also heavily drain the enemy's stamina. This leads us to the Merciless Attack, a powerful finisher that can only be used when an enemy stamina has been depleted. Once the attack becomes available, it can deal a devastating blow to your enemy. In Enshrouded, you will have a variety of powerful weapons to choose from. For example, you can use bows for ranged combat in combination with different types of arrows. There are also ones for faster shots of elemental damage types as well as staffs for mana based slower and heavier attacks that can also affect group of enemies. Apart from swords, there are also heavy melee weapons like hammers and axes, as well as explosives, hopefully offering the weapon of choice for different kinds of playstyles and challenges. Now that you are familiar with the basics, Entrada places a strong emphasis on the value of preparation before entering into combat. It is important to focus on extensive preparations, such as resting, cooking various foods by using recipes, as well as potions and other items to gain an advantage in the battle. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel where we will explain this in a bit more detail. As you explore the world of Enshrouded, you will encounter many enemy factions such as the Fell, Scavengers, Wild Beasts and Wildlife. Each of them can be found in the unique areas of the game. There are various approaches you can take towards enemy fights. If you're the type of player who prefers to avoid direct combat, you can choose to scout and sneak your way around enemies to avoid alerting them to your presence. For players who enjoy ranged combat, you can also use bows, staffs and wands to attack enemies from a distance. As the world of Enshrouded is a fully voxel based, you can even dig your way around the obstacles. The possibilities are endless and it is up to you how you will use this approach. Another way to approach enemy fights in Enshrouded is by using a glider. The glider allows you to fly over and approach enemy camps from above, giving the element of surprise. In this section, we'll be discussing the game's leveling system, customization and multiplayer experience. As players explore and survive in the game, they will gain experience points and level up. With each level gained, players will unlock skill points that can be used in a skill tree. For example, there are active abilities such as Double Jump, Sneak Attack and Blink, but there are also passive skills that improve your abilities or automatically trigger under certain conditions. All of the skills in players' class directions can be mixed in any way possible which allows for a variety of different builds. In the world of Enshrouded, crafting basic weapons can be done at the blacksmith and other NPCs, but legendary weapons and armors can only be found for world exploration. Higher rarity weapons have additional perks that can be unlocked through upgrading. Apart from a single player, the game also allows players to play with up to 16 players on a dedicated server in a co-op environment. Playing together with others will allow each player to have a specific role in a team when exploring for resources, armors, weapons and fighting together. Players can also heal and buff the party members or revive them if they fall to the enemy, enhancing the co-op experience. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to wishlist us on Steam. Be sure to also subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the description below. We'll see you in the next one.